What's up, YouTube? Never Lucky Hearthstone here, giving you your video of the day. Today, I have a different video in mind, apart from the usual game clips I show you. Uh, today, we're going to do a meta discussion slash future state of the game discussion. So, I have this quest to do, so I'm going to work on that. You can, you can watch that in the background while I bring you the serious discussion. So, if you haven't seen it yet or heard, uh, Ben Brode put out, has put out on multiple forums and live streams and stuff about you know, the current meta and how people are reacting to it. The biggest issue immediately being the, uh, the pirates, you know, patches, buccaneer, the cards that people just don't like. So, we all know that Blizzard is not fond of those cards right now, and that supposedly towards the end of February, we are going to be getting a nerf patch for most likely buccaneer. There was discussion of patches also. I'm not sure what they're going to do with that. Buccaneer is probably looking to be a health uh, nerf. Probably going to put him to one health. Or maybe only give him plus one attack. And I assume they're going to make patches. If they nerfed patches, it would probably be that he doesn't summon to the field, but he goes to the hand instead. Which makes him just awful, I think. People don't like aggro shaman. That's... The deck's been meta relevant for a very long time, so that's not a surprise. I I like the deck, but I know popular opinion. Whether you're casual or competitive, I'm taking from the general card from the general player pool, is that it's time Shaman sees its way out. Yeah, you know, I already got the Doomhammer combo got nerfed, Tuscar got nerfed, and people expected that to be the end of. I'm the aggro now. shaman reign when in reality they just made a new aggro shaman so didn't really change that much still have a four mana seven seven buccaneers is amazing like this is just so good um and they're you know we have more maelstrom portal now too spirit claws throw, jade claws aya black paws amazing so hopefully Maybe by the end of February, you guys won't have to worry about seeing too much aggro shaman anywhere. And, you know, that obviously also applies to the pirates. Oh, oh, that, was that was a good roll, huh? Um, you know, like Pirate Warrior specifically. If the pirates get nerfed, then it could potentially be good enough to stop that, that from being played, but, you know, that's... We have to see where that goes exactly. The other thing are Reno decks. Uh, as, you, as you saw, you can look these up anywhere. Um, but you can find, you know, the, the meta snapshot on Tempo Storm. And I know Vicious Syndicate does meta breakdowns and stuff like that. But Reno Mage has recently pushed Reno Lock to tier 2. I still think Greenlock is a good deck, don't get me wrong. Tier 2 isn't bad, it's just not the meta. And with that, Reno Mage, Temple Storm listed Reno Mage as the second best deck. Do I think there's an issue with the with said Reno decks? No, I don't. I think Reno decks are healthy right now because of the pirates. They help keep those decks in check. And if we didn't have decks like Reno or and or aggro decks out right now mid-range decks would just be destroying the format um they'd be dominating it mid-range shaman is still a, is actually a tier one deck and that deck's always been semi-relevant so looking looking to the future now we know that the next expansion is going to be the secrets lost secrets of Umbor. That's what we're looking for. Um. Well played. So, 
with that, I am a World of Warcraft player. I know that Ungoral Crater is full of giant insects, uh, ah, the old god stuff, disposed. and everyone's favorite dinosaurs. And there's some Titan stuff there, I believe. Not one of my favorite questing zones, to be honest. With that knowledge, I do think Hunter will be getting a sizable buff in B synergy and maybe hopefully a good weapon. That you know, like a I'm not saying Glaive Zuka good, but maybe a two a two mana weapon. Cause not everything needs to be like Fire War X level good either. So also, you know, post rotation. We have we are losing the Grand Tournament, Black Rock Mountain, and League of Explorers. So what does that mean for the future of Hearthstone as we know it right now? You know, not we can assume what's gonna come out of uh, out of the Secrets of Ungoro expansion slash adventure, whatever it's gonna be. But uh we don't know for certain, so without knowing what those cards are going to be, it, it's looking to be like, and knowing we are getting a Buccaneer nerf most likely, we can tell that aggro decks are going to suffer. They're going to take a sizable hit by rotation. Hopefully. Another deck that's going to obviously fall out, of fall out of playability and get rotated is Reno. So we're losing because you just can't play Reno. So what does that mean? That means we will have a lack of aggro decks and a lack of control decks. That means decks. That means the mid the decks that operate in between mid range are gonna have a very good time next format. Uh, due to their ability to take the board, uh, swing early game advantage. Things like that. Specifically, um, the deck that looks to be like it's going to be the best deck is, in my opinion, Jay Druid looks to stand out right now. Uh, there's, they have, the, they're losing the least amount of meta impact cards. Mage can't, you know, you can play Kazakus decks, I suppose, but without Reno, it's not the same. So without. Reno, you can't play Reno Lock, obviously you can't play Reno Mage, and you can't play Reno Mage for the people that do play that deck. To my side. So, now we have to figure out what control deck's gonna work, okay? Control Warrior. Well, we're losing Bash, and you're losing Justicar. Those are the most notable. Okay, so, without tank up, how do you beat J Druid? They're just gonna outvalue you with the uh, the Jade Idol, the Infinite Jade Idols. They'll bait out your removal and your and your you know AOE stuff, and you'll just lose right there. Oh dear. So that's something that's going to be looked at. Mid range Shaman could still see play, still a good deck, especially with the Jade stuff. I think Jade is going to be the thing to play. Going out from what we know. I really don't doubt that at all. Paladin is gonna, you know, Paladin's another deck that's been not doing so well lately. People don't like it. And they're losing any fin. So the most meta relevant version is getting rotated out. That's also not good. Um, anything dragons. Sorry, guys. Dragons are leaving. Well, not all the dragons. Don't give me that. You, we are losing Twilight Guardian, Twilight Whelp, Wormrest Accord, or Agent, I think his name is. Accord is the name of the the faction in World of Warcraft, I believe. Uh, Blackwing Corruptor, Blackwing Technician. You know, just, just a lot of the Alex Strauss's champion for Warrior. We're just losing a lot. It's not good. We still have Operative, Bookworm, maybe Azure Drake. We don't know about 
that's another thing is that Blizzard has discussed the possibility, well not Blizzard, but you know, the develop, Hearthstone development team, my bad, has put out info that suggests some cards, specifically Thalnos and Azure Drake, classic cards, are going to be touched by the rotation. So that's another thing we have to think about. Um, there's there, there's more issues too with that, obviously. That don't look good. You know, if they start touching classic cards, like rotating them out and making them not standard legal, then what kind of precedence does that set, you know? Like, Okay, what? When do they just decide to start doing, start rotating the good staple cards? You know, there there need to be there, there has to be good cards in so any t uh, trading card game. Well, I guess Hearthstone's not really a TCG, but it's a card game. Um, you need I'm meta. You need ready. decks and cards that keep other decks and cards in check. And that's what the classic cards are for, is to provide kind of a staple... Not really like a format, but like... It's a staple way to see... Staple use of cards... That provide balance, I think. You know, it's, it's like the... It's the foundation for the game. That's where we start. Yeah, obviously Azure Drake is played in every in almost every deck now. It's a good card. Um I don't, I, and it's not overpowered, you know. Not like not a lot of people are sitting there going, man, Azure Drake needs to get rotated, it's too good. It's just popular because it's good. So if you play other TCGs, I'm I'm not much of a magic player, but I'm sure there's cards in magic that you just play because they're good. Maybe. In Yu-Gi-Oh, that's obvious. That, that's obvious. You know, you got Pot of Desires that most decks before Zodiac played. You know, when Upstart was at three, you played three Upstart. They're just good. They're not broken. They're just good. They're really good. Um, so we'll see how that affects the meta. But my biggest concern going forward with the meta game in Hearthstone is diversity. I don't. No one likes having the same thing over and over again in such a, in a stale way. So I would like some change. I do like the change. Don't get me wrong. But if Lost Secrets is an adventure and not an expansion, that could be very bad. The card pool would be very limited because you only get forty-five cards out of it. As opposed to the 120 or 30 something you get out of an event, out of a full expansion. So less cards, and plus if nerfs happen, that limits card play. And if rotating classic cards happens, that limits it too. So I don't know, maybe the developers have something planned that we just don't know about. Um, I hope that's the case. But my the decks I would watch out for next format. I th I'm thinking Jay Druid is going to be the deck to compete with. Um, right now, I don't see a way for other decks to compete. And I will be doing some games uh, l later today or tomorrow. Maybe make this tomorrow's video. Where I will play a Conquest style. I might do this on Twitch too, actually. I might just stream it. So. Uh, I might do a conquest style, where we're gonna play with these rotated cards, kind of like a, a Maz's tournament from last year, where we did the when I did the uh, they played the rotation cards, but not knowing what the new stuff's gonna be when Whispers was coming out. So if you wanna if you wanna catch on the stream, you can at HS Never Lucky. It's my Twitch. But a lot of people are, are worried about this rotation in particular, more so than last year's. Last year's had the GVG and Axe cards. I I will not argue that 
Paladin are more broken. Shredder, Muster, Paladin Secrets. So, that one was a little easier to play around with than this one is currently. So, we'll see what happens with this one. I know a lot of people are weary about it. They're not happy. I think this could be the downfall of Hearthstone. But, I trust the develop team. I think they have other plans. I think the in-girl is going to have to be an expansion. Out of the necessity to put more cards in the card pool. Uh, we know that Grammy Goons aren't going to be good. Still. Next format. What we can assume. And we can assume that the Cabal stuff is not going to hold up. Compared to uh, the, uh, the Jade Golem. Stuff. It's just better. So, we'll have to wait and see where that goes. But yeah, those. The menagerie is for it's a J Druid, mid range shaman. I think if there's a Kazakus deck that will survive, it's gonna be. Uh, Priest, actually. They're also losing a lot of cards that are that I think are super meta are, are relevant to them staying in the meta. But if there's a if there's a, a deck that has a chance of surviving the best and thriving, I do think it's going to be Priest because they already have their own ways of healing outside of just the Reno. You know, Raza is still good. Is it Raz? Raza? He's still good. So, oh, yeah, you can't do the Inspire stuff, that version. But they have the Elixir, uh, the Greater Healing Potion, I, I believe it's called. You know, you still have Courier. You don't have Brand. That's the thing that's going to hurt, too, is Brand's leaving. Leave Explorer is arguably the best adventure. It's amazing. Tomb Pillager and Tomb, Brand, Elise, Reno. Finley, just tons of good cards. Peddler. So that that's it only costs it's hard soul. to say exactly what's gonna be next format. But that's why we're gonna test it. I'm gonna test it out with some people. You know, make some decks. See how it goes. You maybe we'll learn something. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong. But uh That's that's all I have to discuss right now. Everyone's kind of getting tired of this stale format. It feels like Agro Shaman's been relevant for forever now. But uh, you know, if you have any anything you want to say, or anything you think I left out that it's also relevant, you know, feel free to comment. And I encourage you all to like and subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel. I mean, and like the video. And you know, don't you know, don't be afraid to question me. That's that's also okay. Thank you. So, okay, you can catch me tomorrow on my Twitch at HS Never Lucky, like I said earlier. And I'm always up for discussions and debates. So, I will see you all later. I hope you at least took something away, or this at least, at least opens your mind to thinking about the game that we all enjoy. So, have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye! I greet you.